Hello everyone and a very warm welcome back to another episode of Microsoft Flights in 2024. So today we're looking at Just Flights FS Traffic which is a new add-on to Microsoft Flights in 2024. It has been around for a little while now but it's now currently on the market for all of us to use. So the reason why we're doing this specific video is to do with uh, model matching and VATSIM. So this piece of software replaces the FS LTL files uh, which we currently use for model matching and it enhances that to the complete next level. As most of you know, we've had issues with landing gears and just the models don't look very detailed and this transforms that completely. So we're exploring the new and enhanced model matching from the Just Flight team. It's specifically designed to bring accuracy and immersion to VATSIM flights in Microsoft Flights in 2024. However, the software actually does have other features as well and quite significant features. So um, it has high quality AI models, which we already know about. Also, it has a coverage of hundreds of real-world airline flights and IACO codes, which means all the models will be matched completely as they should be. And if you've got traffic switched on in the sim and you've got it enabled within the settings, you'll be able to uh, take advantage of that. However, we're not going to be looking into that at this video, but if you do want to look into that in more detail, I would highly recommend checking out EasyJet Sim Pilot's uh, video that he did on it. He went into a little bit more detail, but we're looking just on a model matching for that sim today. So then, let's jump through now to the start of everything. So what we need to do is jump onto the Just Flight website. And as you can see, it's currently on offer at the minute at £21.59. And you can purchase it on there and then download it through their app. So once we get it downloaded, it will be presented with a file. And this file uh, is a zip file, so it needs to be extracted into the other formats so it's in a viewable folder so just go to extract all and click next it takes a little while this does because it's a very very big file it's over 11 gigabytes i believe so once it's downloaded what you want to do is head over to the setup on the application uh, i'm just zooming in a bit so you can see a little bit better so double click on the setup and then it will uh, start the installation process you will be presented with a window which will be the activation window with just like you'll see that I've kind of skipped through this just obviously yeah, for the main security as well as you see it's about to pop up when uh, here we go so it asks for auth authentication here and this is uh, the current product activation there we go click next and approve it it may seem like it's stuck at this stage, however, it does take quite a while. It took about 20 minutes for it to fully install on my system. But uh, once it's done, hit finish, and we can open the application, which you can see here. So it has a lot more features um, than that we're going to be using it for. So what we're going to do is we're going to head to the options page in a second. I just thought I'd show you briefly over each of the menus. So what we're actually looking for is to disable FS traffic, which sounds very strange. You just spent all this money. Why would you want to disable FS traffic? So what I want to do is disable it from within the simulator to prevent it using it as traffic on top of the VATSIM traffic. So that's what we're doing today. So next, we want to head to the community folder. You want to see where it's installed it. As you can see there, just follow, follow it through. On the data, traffic control. And then you're looking for the folder VMR and you want FS traffic, uh, dot VMR, which is the file that is used within vPilot. So what you want to do is head onto vPilot, click onto settings. And then we want to head down to model matching at Microsoft Flights in 2024. You want to hit that little plus. And if you can see it, it took me a little second to just thought I'd move it just so it's a little bit more visible for you guys. So you want to head to custom rules and add custom rule set. So next we need to head to the community folder again. And basically we're finding that exact same file. So head down to it and we'll follow the same route that we did earlier on. Onto data, traffic control and the VMR. And then this is the file you want to select. So select, click on it, click, select apply, OK. It will say that the scan's complete, however it will need the aircraft, the simulator to launch for that to happen. So we're in the sim now, we're just connecting to the VATSIM network and you'll see all the models appear and they sound completely differently as well. It takes a little second for everything, all the sound to minimise but if you listen from an outside point of view it sounds so much better as well. Uh, the models look a lot more detailed. As you can see, we've got a British Airways plane departing there. If it was a little bit closer to him, you'd be able to see the landing gear retract as well. That is one of the other features. So although it's not a freeware version like the other option from FSLTL, 
it's certainly a very good feature especially if you're streaming and got other things to do as well it'll be certainly a worthwhile feature to add to the sim so as you can see the uh, models seem very very detailed um, I just thought I'd have a little walk around and then the aircraft disappeared he just disconnected from the network just as I was about to have a walk around his aircraft but they look so far so good they look very very detailed So then guys, this, this is about it for the walkthrough today, um, if you like our video feel free to give us a like, comment, subscribe, any questions feel free to pop it in the comments, bye for now.